There's one reason I'm making this video and that is the link in the description where you can donate to Kyoto Animation. Um, there will also be a link uh, where you can directly purchase existing works from Kyoto Animation's Japanese site. Um, even though it's all in Japanese, there will be a link telling you exactly how to do that. And um, there will be other links as well. Uh, you can go through uh, Sentai Filmworks, who sent me this Kyoto Animation uh, Beyond the Boundary box set, um, who work with Kyoto Animation, are doing a fundraiser for them. That is a perfect uh, way to donate. donate. Um, um, you can definitely go through them. Don't be cautious or, or hesitant. I, like I said, I've worked with them, and uh, I, I endorse their fundraiser. I'm sure all the money will go directly to uh, KyoAni, and that is how I donated, so that's what I recommend doing. Uh, if you can help. Um, I've been speaking with friends in Japan and friends close to Kyoto Animation since the fire started. Uh, my Japanese friends had told me that there were 30 fire engines trying to extinguish the fire at Kyoto Animation's first studio building in Kyoto, Fushimiku. Um, police initially uh, reported explosions where the 70 people were working at the studio and it was at first one person confirmed dead. Um, the loss of years and years of work and people injured and um, most of you probably know Kyoto Animation one of my one of my favorite studios of uh, all time I'm, I know the community and myself love them very very much and have, have made some of our favorite pieces of artwork uh, ever so yeah this it's just devastating um, uh, then my friends had told me the death count had went up to 12 and more people just laying on the floor without any vital signs and um, people in Japan literally had no idea if there was anyone else left if everyone had died or not but the news has uh, come out and I honestly can't wrap my head around this uh, number 33 deaths and 35 injured and I can't wrap my head around the families in Japan who are heartbroken by this because it's just so terrible. Uh, the studios in Japan are obviously filled with paper sketches and storyboards and they are tiny and home to anime collections of these animators and uh, people who work there where it's their home away from home and I, I can't even imagine how quickly this place covered in, in sketches was just devoured by the flames. Um, those around me are aware of how much I love Kyoto Animation, about how I've wanted to, how I've spoke so many times about visiting there the next time I'm in Kyoto, how much I want to visit there. Um, Cause it's just, you know, one of my favorite studios. They've made my, they've made so many of my favorite pieces of art. Um, and for those saying Kyoto Animation is gone, it, it's not completely gone. The the a station away, there are more Kyoto Animation buildings. Um, I'm, they're safe as far as I know. Um, but you know, that's not exactly what's important right now. What's important right now is the loss of uh, the loss of life. And uh, stop making jokes on Twitter. Stop telling people to cheer up stop making jokes about their anime just stop uh please send your prayers and donate to kyoto animation if you have anything at all to say or do do not make fun of anything right now or ever uh i'm seeing too much of it on twitter just please stop doing that um Apparently the attacker was just screaming she knew uh, to die in, in Japanese uh, drenching the studio in gas and set it on fire Thursday Japan time My friends have told me that the killer is actually in the hospital with the rest of the victims, which completely blows my mind uh, Those at Kyoani were trying to escape to the roof since apparently the fire was lit near an entrance as well as uh, just this guy pouring gas everywhere uh, screaming those at QNE were trying to uh, escape not only through the roof, but there was also people seen trying to escape the windows. Um, uh, this attacker was also carrying a bag filled with knives and a hammer. 
uh, this piece of trash told, I believe, told NHK that something of his was stolen. Uh, so he thought uh, he had the right to kill others because he believed his work was stolen by KyoAni. This piece of trash did not work for Kyoto Animation. He has no relationship with the company, according to NHK. Uh, so this was the cause of some psychopath believing that KyoAni stole all of his artwork, or, or all of his work. All I have to say is hopefully he receives the, the death penalty. You know, I can't believe he's having his burn wounds treated at the same place as the, the victims. Uh, I seriously just feel terrible for everyone there. I cannot stop thinking about the families um, who are affected by this. I know a lot of people just think it's about the anime and shit, but it's not 35 people, 33 people in Japan lost their lives and 35 more were injured and uh, it's not about, it's not a, just about the anime. This is a major, major disaster caused by this, you know, piece of trash. Uh, yeah, I just feel terrible. I can't stop thinking about the families. Uh, I literally watched a silent voice twice last week. Uh, so I've been feeling sad enough lately, but this just, I don't know what to say. Or... Knowing that the people that I look up to and respect who have worked on my, some of my favorite pieces of artwork in history have been burned to death. They had gasoline poured on them and were burned to death. Uh, yeah, makes me feel sick. Um, my prayers and thoughts go out to their families and the wonderful staff who put their heart into all this artwork that we love. Please donate. Uh, just a message to the families and those in Japan. Uh, Kyoeni no kaisai de nakunareta minasama kokoro yori okuyami mo shiagemasu. Kome fuku o oinori shimasu. Pray for Kyoto Animation. And uh, uh, please donate. Um, obviously, the upload I had planned for today that I can't even think about will be rescheduled. I know I told you all about it. I just want to let you know it'll be, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm too upset to even think about anything else right now. So please donate to Kyoto Animation. Show your support. Be kind. That's it for me.